what's going on everybody it's your favorite on Mo. we are back for another episode review of the real black china this is season one episode five if you can make it there before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet go ahead and subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and hit the notification button so you will know whenever i upload new content y'all this episode of the real black china it started off kind of boring the end of it got good um the next episode i think is gonna be a whole lot better but um it was good, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, y'all enjoy the review that I'm gonna give to you. Disclaimer, I will be cussing a little bit in this video, um, just to get that out there, out the way. Um, hey, just thought I should let that be known. Because y'all know I cuss already, but that's just something I feel like I had to get out the way and say now, if you're somebody that does not like foul language, I do cuss, so God damn it, if y'all ready, I'm ready. Let's get right on into this goddamn review. Y'all, China's house is bomb. I love her house. It's big as hell. Look like I got enough room for her and all her goddamn kids and everybody in her family to goddamn run around everywhere. So, she's having a team meeting because she getting ready to go on the Wendy Williams show, right? So, before she comes out, just for shits and giggles, she got on like this nude bodysuit. It's a whole like bodysuit, but it's nude. Like, it's, it's like a nakedness. It got the tits, it got the cooch and the hair and, and the butt crack and all that. Again, just for shits and giggles, just to kind of lighten the mood. Because y'all know China ain't funny. Or at least she don't seem very funny. She doesn't have a whole lot of personality at all. Just from what I gather, from what I've been seeing on the, the real Black China. Because I, other than the, um, what was that, the Black China and, and Rob and China show, she didn't have a whole lot of personality there either. Not saying nothing against the girl. She's a cute girl, very beautiful. But she doesn't have a whole lot of personality or whatever, right? So again, it was just for shits and giggles. She came out, had this little new bodysuit or whatever, right? So she getting ready to go on the Wendy Williams, sir. Wendy, uh. She's getting ready to go on the Wendy Williams show. Now, her team is afraid that she going to get on there and Wendy going to say something and she going to go left because her and Wendy have not had the best relationship. Y'all know Wendy Williams talks about anybody and everybody. Bitch, ain't nobody safe. Bitch, if Wendy see this, bitch, I ain't going to be safe. She don't give a damn who she come after, right? So, they afraid that when they get on there, Wendy going to ask them and China going to go left, right? So, they want to be prepared before they go on the show. Now, China has this new team that she's working with. She's got this new publicist. His name is Freshie. And um, she has this new manager. His name is Jamal. Of course, she has Treasure, who is her best friend. And um, Ashton, who is her assistant. But I believe he's only been her assistant for a few years as well. So, everybody is pretty much new to the team aside from Treasure. Now, with Treasure... Treasure being her best friend, Treasure has pretty much solidified herself as being someone to have a huge influence over China's life and what happens, what she does, what she says, what she likes, what she might not like, what's in her best interest. So Treasure says, which I agree with to a certain extent. I absolutely agree with that's her best friend. That's ride or die. You know, that's what she's supposed to do or whatever, right? So hang on to that. Now, China's main reason for wanting to go on the Wendy Williams show, she wants to first be able to show that she can bury the hatchet with the number one person on talk show who has been talking the most shit about her she wants to be able to go on there be able to squash whatever beef she has with her and then she also wants her to be able to well she wants to ask wendy or hopes that wendy is going to apologize for the things that she said about tony now i don't know i'm assuming this is like way before this the show um right here the real black china aired because it's it's it, it can't be for this i'm thinking not you know what i'm saying but um my dates whatever if, if it's what i'm thinking which the next episode it shows her with the whole outfit that she had on when she was on the Wendy williams show so of course this is like dated old back or whatever because as of now i don't think wendy and um tony are on good terms again because Tony Tokyo Tony done went in on YouTube and, and Instagram and all kind of crap. Done said all kind of crap about Wendy Williams. About a snort and coke and all kind of shit, right? So they um like I said, they want to be prepared for her going on the Wendy Williams show, right? So they try to call her publicist, no, not her publicist. Freshie, her, yeah, her publicist Freshie, because he's the one that's actually organizing the Wendy Williams show and the interview. Now, they ask him, what are the questions that she's going to ask me? Are these questions that I can, um, like, we can ask ourselves, and, you know, we can submit the questions, and these are questions she's going to ask, or does she already have her own set of questions? If she does, what questions is she going to
going to ask me so I can be prepared for that. Their thing is, I think they know as well that China doesn't have a whole lot of personality. So it's not like they can just let her go in there and just know that she's just going to knock that bitch out the park. No, she's somebody that actually needs some coaching. You need to coach her on what to say. You need to practice with that bitch so she can get it down. You know what I'm saying? Not saying nothing against her. But again, if you watch the show, The Real Black China, you know what I'm talking about. So I ain't saying nothing against the girl that all you got to do is watch it and see and you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, though, so they try to call Fresh. Of course, he ain't answering the phone. He's, they think that, you know, he's just trying to avoid them altogether. So eventually he does answer the phone and they ask him, you know, like what questions are going to be asked and what's going on, yada, yada, yada. He's kind of beating around the bush. He's not really giving them a straightforward answer. So they kind of crossing their fingers and hoping, okay, by the time we get to New York, hopefully you're going to have your shit together. So we ain't got to be guessing, trying to figure out what's going to be going on from this. Because she already kind of you know stressed out she's still hurting from her toe i don't know if i mentioned that on the last review but she broke her toe sprained her toe or whatever so that's something that's like deep on her mind she's stressed out about uh, whatever right her assistant ashton is helping to get her packed up so they can go to new york now china is one of those i don't want to say one of those people <laughs> Because I don't, I, I, I'm just going by what I see on TV. She's one of them people that that carries a, a lot. She needs 50 of them hundred bags. One bag for wigs, one bag for shoes, one bag for this, one bag for this. Anyways, that's what her assistant Ashton, that's what his damn job is to do. And so he's stressed out about that. He's trying to get her all together. Like I said, all the whole time, all she worried about is her goddamn toe. So she really ain't adding on to nothing but nobody else's stress on top of her own damn stress, on top of her worried about what questions are going to be asked about Wendy Williams. Because like I said, her team is scared that she's going to get on there and she's going to fuck it up. Because they keep saying to her over and over again, look here. Now look, just make sure whatever Wendy asks you, you, you kind of pause and you think about it and that you ready. She's like, no, I got it. I got it. No, bitch, obviously you don't got it. And they see something in you that you really don't see in yourself. Something that I see, like I said, if you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So they hoping that by the time they get to New York, Fresh, she gonna have everything together, so all they got to do is practice on whatever the questions it is that they gonna be asked, and so they gonna work it out from there. So they finally get to New York, Freshy is there, her uh, manager Jamal is there, Treasure's there, and Ashton is there, right? So um, she also has a nail tech that's there, you know, a private nail tech that's doing her nails. Now the point of the, the meeting, the, another meeting that she's having, a team meeting, she wants everybody to all be on the same page, and again, they wanna go over what questions that she is expected to be asked when she goes on Wendy Williams. Now, when Freshie gets there, I was confused as hell because I thought from the beginning, Freshie as the publicist was the one that actually put the whole Wendy Williams um, interview or whatever together. But when they get there and they have the meeting, Jamal, her manager, he's the one that has some of the questions as well. And so they begin to ask Freshie, like, you know, what questions do we have? He says he sent them to Jamal. Jamal says he sent them to China. China's looking through her phone. She can't find them. Freshie trying to pull them up on his phone. Jamal trying to pull them up on his computer. So it's a whole lot of miscommunication. Just watching that right there alone, I was like, oh shit, okay. Some, 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 some ain't right. Some ain't right. Because everybody's on all kind of different pages, right? So finally, China is asking Freshie, okay, so what, how do we get these questions? Are these questions that we submitted? Are these questions that she sent to us that we chose from? Are these questions that we have to choose from? So he kept beating around the bush. So finally what it all boils down to is the first set of questions that she sent him. He basically approved them without showing them to China. Then they sent another set of 16 questions to him, which I don't even think he reviewed. And so he basically went with the first set of questions that was asked. He didn't even really look over the questions himself. And so Again, Treasure as her best friend, Treasure always has China's best interest at heart, right? So Treasure is asking Freshie, like, look, okay, so my question is, 
how did you get these questions? So you you just decided to approve these questions. You didn't go over this with her. Like, how come you didn't go over this? Why would we sent this? How come you didn't CC her on this? And so it gets to the point to where Freshie and Treasure eventually starts going at it. Because Freshie is like, look here, I'm trying to do my job, but you have me running around getting wigs. You have me getting this, getting that. And so trying to tell him, okay, right, like that's a part of multitasking. If, if you working with a celebrity, I don't really think it's too many excuses you can give them that's going to work other than I fucked up and I'm going to try to fix this. And I, 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 I can't say I understand where he was coming from because, again, I don't work with no celebrities, so I don't know what none of that life is like. I ain't about that life. I don't know that life. But it just seemed like he wasn't really coming forth with a lot of, of answers to a lot of questions that they were having. But then again, at the same time, Treasure as her best friend, in my opinion, was kind of doing the most. Now, like Treasure said, for years, as long as she's known China, 14, 15 years or whatever, she's been her publicist, she's been her assistant, she's been her, her, you know, her, her manager, she's been everything. She's worn many hats, but she's never had an official title. Now that China has made it to a certain level, China has to have a certain team. She has to have a professional publicist and a professional manager and an assistant and this, that, and the other. And so Treasure in a way still wants to wear all of those hats because again I get it that's her homegirl and she knows her homegirl she knows what her homegirl like you know she knows what's best for her and what's not best for her but then again she got to learn where, you know, she kind of got to fall back. And China got to check her on that. Because it got to a point to where Freshie got so irritated because Treasure was doing the most. They were both doing the most. I mean, being shady as hell. I mean, it was palm trees every damn where. It got to a point to where Freshie was like, you know what, fuck this shit, I'm out. You can be the publicist. You can do all of this since you got all this opinion and it's all this attitude. Then you can have it. He gets pissed and he walks out. China, you know, while Treasure is still, you know, just kind of here going off, barking with it, China gets up and she goes and she goes and gets Freshie. She brings him back in and she kicks everybody out. And where it's just her and it's Freshie in there. And she tells Freshie, like, look, I I wasn't with all the energy and the smoke that Treasure was giving you, but I do want you to understand that she's my best friend. So she's looking out for me and, and she's my family. So I want you to understand that, you know, she's going to be here and I need you to respect her. Although, I, like I said, I wasn't feeling how she was coming at you and I'll deal with her. Freshie was telling China, like, look, if this is what I got to deal with, you know, being here with homegirl, I'm not finna do this. Because when they was getting into it, Treasure was letting him know, like, you you her publicist, bitch, you my publicist too. And Freshie was like, okay, bitch, well, you her best friend, you my best friend too, you know? <laughs> so it's like, regardless, y'all gonna have to deal with each other whether y'all want to or not. And so China was like, look, I'll deal with Treasure as long as you know when it's me and you, we gonna keep it business. If I have to kick everybody else out so it can be me and you, then we'll do that. But with you and Treasure going in on each other, I can't have that. Because that's my best friend and that's my family. And you my publicist and you business and we got to make this work. So at the end of the day, they were able to come to some sort of common ground. Or some kind of common agreement or whatever. And they wasted, I don't know how long they wasted. That was at least 30, 20, 30 minutes right there. With them just straight up arguing the whole time. With not a single question having been gone over just yet. And that was the point of the meeting from the beginning. Was to go over the questions for the goddamn Wendy Williams show. Like they got on my nerves with all that goddamn arguing. And still didn't get no goddamn where. So like I said, they kissed, they made up. And so finally they were able to come to some kind of common ground. And after all that bullshit, they finally started to go over, you know, some of the questions that hopefully she was going to ask when she went on the show. All right, y'all. So it's the morning of the Wendy Williams show. It's about two, three hours until she's supposed to get there, go live on air or whatever, right? Now, China wakes up irritated. She's pissed off because she said that um, Ashton woke her up at 6 o'clock in the morning. She was pissed off because she had to wake up early. She's tired. She's hungry. And she felt like her hair ain't turning out right. Bitch, rich people problems. Rich people problems. I can't relate to that shit. So her team is stressed out about her going on the Wendy Williams show. And again, her snapping 
if Wendy Williams asked her the wrong thing. Now, they've already gone over the questions that hopefully Wendy's going to ask, and hopefully Wendy stays right on track. They're, you know, China's saying if Wendy does try to throw her any curveballs, that she's going to be ready for it. She's just going to be able to flip that back to hopefully something positive. Her main goal is she wants to change her image. She wants to get out of being known strictly as Black China and Angela Renee White. So she's prepared for it. She feels like a lot of these questions she's already been asked when she was on Robin China anyway. So she'll be able to deal with it or whatever, right? So after some time passed, she's getting her makeup done and she gets to going in on her team about her hair not being right. She feels like her hair should have been more flatly braided down with the clothes that she's wearing and her hair is not going to match right with her, her outfit. Again, just a bunch of rich people damn problems. A, a lot of rich people got damn problems. Real stupid or whatever, right? So she's refusing to go on the Wendy Williams show if her hair and her outfit doesn't look right. And if her hair is snagging on her jacket, then she's not going to go. So she goes in the bathroom and starts having a complete tantrum like a child. She goes in the bathroom and starts yelling, screaming, crying her makeup off. Treasure is in there trying to calm her down. She's yelling at Treasure. She's yelling at Ashton. She's yelling at Jamal. She's yelling at um Freshie. And Freshie is like, look, okay, we're just trying to do whatever we can to make it right for you. What is it that you need? She's yelling at everybody. It gets to the point to where her and Freshie are in each other's face yelling at each other. Freshie's like, Fuck this. I'm not finna deal with this. If y'all, this is how y'all want to be treated and y'all want to get yelled at by homegirl, I'm not finna do it. Because China was doing the most. She was cussing everybody out. Going off. Y'all, And the episode ended there. Hopefully on the next episode, she get her shit together because her and Freshie look like they gon' damn near duke it out, y'all. Hopefully, you know, um, I don't know how many more episodes are left. It it doesn't really say the Zeus network doesn't really give a whole whole lot of information on like the the how long the show is going to be on how many episodes it's going to be i don't know if anybody knows drop down in the comments and let me know um so yeah i don't know if the next one is a season finale if they have a couple more coming up i don't know but when i find out i will let you know because i will be here next sunday with the review um let me know what you think about this video please like comment subscribe share and auntie will see y'all in the next video peace out what's up y'all do me a favor and share the video please make sure to subscribe to my channel let me know what you think and um hit that notification button so you will be up to date when i upload my latest videos i holla